freaks people have out. Have you seen that Black Mirror episode? No. Not to be that guy. No, no, no a Black I've seen Mirror, a bunch of them. But there's I'm... a Black Mirror episode where they're in a cabin, and this guy's in prison for infinity, <sighs> and he's talking to this guy over and over and over again. Wow. And there's the new one. The new season came out, and the same thing. They're in space, and they're, like, coming down. I'm not going to ruin it. No, no worries. It's crazy. It's an amazing show. It freaks you out. And it's, it's my favorite show. It's, it's a good. great it's show. Good. My wife won't watch it with me. Really? <laughs> she thinks it's scary. She really? gets freaked out by it. Yeah, she doesn't like things that could be real. I you get know? that. I get that. A lot of people, like, when I bring it up, they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, did, did you ever see Heavy Metal? Uh -uh. That's the one where the robots are chasing this lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. The dogs. The dog I didn't robots. like that. I stopped watching oh. it. That one freaked me out too much. I was like, no way. That's so close I to real. Well, the one about the murdering, too. There's a one where this chick, like, murders. Oh, like, yeah. And she gets in this, like, white lie of yeah. trying to hide from it. Yeah. And, like, she's, Crocodile. like, hiding it from her kids and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. It's just, it's so close to real. It's so close to real. There was a World Economic Forum video that they just put out about people going to work and wearing earbuds. Have you seen it, Jamie? Going to work and wearing earbuds that monitor your brain waves. And the brain waves are going to tell whether or not you're being productive or distracted. And in this video, this woman is kind of fantasizing about a guy she works with and then catches herself doing it. And then some guy gets busted for like... Is this a show? What is this? It's just a video explaining how in the future you're going... See if you can find it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm seeing the people talking about it. Dude, you saying this reminds me of yesterday. I was in Walmart and I was like walking around and I was like looking for something to buy. And one of the girls I asked the question to, she had an earbud in. Or an AirPod in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why would you do that? You're like walking around work and people are asking you for help and stuff. And she's just walking around like listening to it. She's like talking to people. with And listening to this music. Yeah. Kids do that today. My, my kids do that. They'll yeah, like, have one hey, ear open. I was kind of, I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to be an ass, but I was like, I was talking to the guy at the. the, the here it is. Yeah, sure, that's that it. it. Check that this it? out. Okay. Yeah, check Sorry. this video out. This is, this is bonkers, dude. Over. This is really. Your cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can oh, it's like one of those stress levels rising training videos. As the deadline to finish your memo approach. Yeah, and she's wearing these earbuds. In your beta brainwave activity, right before an alert popped up, telling you to take a brain break. But what's that unusual change in your brain activity? This is not the one I saw. Okay. There's I was another one that I saw that's that's uh, scarier than a Black Mirror episode. But man. this the the other one's more scary because it talks about like self censoring at work and monitoring your thoughts at work. I could see it. God, I sent it to somebody. I could see the it. Fuck, did I well, send it to? I mean, this video on TikTok seems like I just saw the brainwave thing you just said. Oh, come on, like that. That's the same video. Yep, this is it. This is it. This is oh, it. just a little later. This in there. is it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I had only seen part of it. That's it. Keep it rolling. Feelings telling when she checks your brain. brain activity. Oh, you got two going. Stop. Oh my God! This is a nightmare. <laughs> this is <laughs> Black Mirror. This is what I hear at night. Email she sends you later that day. Congratulate you. Oh, this is fine. Let this play. The past quarter. No, it's you before this. It's before this where boss. she's fantasizing about this guy that she yeah, that's it. That's the guy. So How ahead. do you smoke pot and watch stuff like that? I love it. That's crazy. Back up. But you can't help fantasizing. Brain starts to. You take a quick look at my brain data. Anything to worry about? The, the doctor. Your mind starts to wander to the new colleague on your team. No way. You know you shouldn't <laughs> Come be on. About, given the policy against intra-office romance, but you can't help fantasizing. <laughs> But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity. What? Shift your attention back to the present. Imagine when all the you shitty things you've thought of at work. I know. And your boss knowing. Congratulations, Congratulations on your brain metrics. Brain metrics from the past quarter, which have earned you another performance bonus. So you get you bonuses. Jamming to the music with your work for with thinking your brain, a certain way. When you arrive at work, the where is this going? A cloud has fallen over the office, along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data. The government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past year. They have compelling evidence that one of your coworkers has committed massive wire fraud. Now they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your coworker and the people he has been working with. While you know you're innocent of any crime, you've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds. You know what's crazy about that? You know what's crazy about that? 
I feel like the world right now with all of our phones is the same way. Because your phone close. knows everything about you. Yeah. And people can do that. But it's, it's not the same, but it's like... It's getting there. It feels like I mean, it. the idea of being able to collect data on everywhere you walk... I remember when I was... I guess it was like... I want to say it was like 99, 2000 was the first GPS thing that I had. And you would load it. I think with CDs or DVRs. I remember when DVDs. Garmin's came out and my grandpa was going crazy. Yeah. He would put it on the dash of his truck and he's like, we're going to Texas and we know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, you, you had a map with you all the time. But the one that I had in the early days, you could I only had California because that's all the data could fit. And the, the California data was on like a CD-ROM or a DVD. I can't remember which one it was, but it, you had to load it, I remember. And it was kind of clunky, but I was like, this is wild. It, this is like very early on with that kind of electronics. Thinking about it now, like what's freaked me out the most in the last like year of my life has been friends of mine and people that I've met and things. I got a flip phone like six months ago. I was like, man, I called you on it. Yeah. When I first started talking to you, I was on my flip phone because I was talking to a friend of mine and it was like, they were like, well, how are you going to track? How are you going to know where your friends are at? Like with the tracking on iPhones and stuff like that, with, uh -huh. you can like see your friends and things. I'm like, what yeah. do you mean? Right. I don't think we're supposed to know where we're all at, man. It's scary <laughs> as shit. Why do I want you to know that I'm at my house or if I'm even your best friends in the entire world? Our parents never did that. It's weird. You know, it's yeah. crazy. It's weird. And then some people are going to want to know where you are all the time. Why won't you let me know where you are, Zach? Yeah. It's six years. It's like Zach? seven years ago. I where are you, Snapchat Zach? Because I saw the map with all the fucking yeah. heads on it. Yeah. And kids are growing up like this, bro. It's oh, crazy. My kids use that constantly. Yeah. They're always tracking their friends. And I'm 27. I'm not allowed to say that yet. I don't You're still a kid. I don't know what age that is where you can start <laughs> saying the kids, you know, which is cringy to say. But you fun. can say it at 27. Yeah. After 25, you can kind of say it occasionally. That's how I feel. Yeah. And After 25, I was like, holy fuck, man. Life is not. Then once you're 30, you're like, oh my God, I'm a grown up. I was told at 30, you feel more. I was told at 30, you feel like more settled. Depends on who you are. Sometimes people aren't happy at 30 and then they start panicking more because they haven't got anything done. 